Hi friends, today we are making our creamy mashed potatoes. We're gonna add just enough water to cover the tops of the potatoes. We don't want there to be too much, but we want everything to be evenly covered. We're gonna bring it to a quick boil and then we're gonna lower the heat. Before I put the lid on it, I'm just gonna salt it. Yeah, salt it pretty heavily because when we're boiling our vegetables, or pasta for the matter, um, this is where most of their flavor comes from. While our potatoes are cooking, we are going to make our infused cream with one and a half cups of heavy cream, two bay leaves, one teaspoon of nutmeg, and one head of garlic. Um, you can use however much garlic you want. So with our garlic, we're pretty much just gonna smash it. Um, don't worry too much about chopping it or getting everything because we're gonna strain out the ingredients later anyways. And smashing it helps bring out the gar- Whoops garlic flavor and it also helps remove like the skin around the garlic if you end up needing garlic to be chopped. This is how we usually do it. Get all our garlic in. We can take these garlic skins, dump it into our compost. Composting is just great. I personally think it's a really great way to reduce your waste. Um, we try not to produce too much waste of course. We're not perfect by any means, but we do our best. And I'll admit, when we first started our compost bin, which we can show you guys someday, I was really scared, not scared, kind of scared, of throwing stuff in there, because I guess, I don't know if this is just us or if you guys have experience with this, but we would, every time we added greens or browns to our compost, there'd be a bunch of fruit flies, swarms of fruit flies, so I'd always ask Johnson to add to the compost bin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, and I know people have said that could be if you like have more greens than browns or whatever But I think that was just the start of our compost bin like where there are just more fruit flies But now um, we try to keep our browns over our greens keep it covered and Even if we don't do that, it's not as many fruit flies. Okay, so all our garlic's in here. Um, we're gonna add our thyme several sprigs so we're gonna add some salt to this. Um, salt it to your taste. Every time we've made it, depending on the amount of potatoes you use, um, it's really changed the amount of salt we put in. Just eyeball it. Um, and remember, you can always add more, but you can't take too much out, if any at all. I think I'll start with there. What do you think? No, we should add a little more. Okay, fine. Johnson says we should add more. There? That was about three pinches of salt. I would say each of my pinches was maybe like half a teaspoon. So maybe one and a half teaspoon-ish. It'll be fine. So we're going to let this simmer. Make sure everything's mixed in. The flavors are all gonna infuse. And then when it comes to a simmer, we are going to strain everything out. Our potatoes are about done. We can check them, of course. They're nice. This is my left hand, so I'm gonna be a little shaky. Very easy, easily cut. No effort at all. Drain it. And then we're gonna pour it right back in. I'm gonna put the cap back on so it steams a little longer. So while this is steaming, I'll talk about our potato racer or ricer, I don't know. But this is OXO um, and it has different sizes. Depending how big or small or chunky or lumpy you want your potatoes, we are going to go to the finest setting. Um, but essentially, you just put potatoes in there and then you squeeze it out and then it's nice and silky. Alternatively, you can just use a potato masher if you have one. We don't have one. Or a fork or a big spoon, which is what we used to use before we got this. So we're just gonna put the potatoes in here. Um, I personally like my mashed potatoes a little chunkier. Johnson likes it really creamy and really smooth. So that's just the way we're gonna make it today. Really creamy and really smooth. And then we will just push it into our bowl. Like that. And then we'll just do the same thing. Hmm, it's 
good. I'm just gonna add a little bit more salt. Like I said, you can always add more, but you can't take out. So maybe like another half teaspoonish. So I guess in total, two teaspoons. I'm just gonna add a crack of black pepper too. So it's coming to a simmer, like so. So we have our cream here, our riced potatoes. We're just gonna add some butter. I'll take this here. So probably like mm, four tablespoons of butter, quarter cup, half a stick-ish. And then we're going to strain our cream into here and then slowly mix it. So it's coming together. Um, I'm just gonna add a little bit more of the cream. Um, you're gonna have some leftover cream for this, so you could either use more potatoes or if you want it extra creamy, you can add, extra creamy, you can add it. And I feel like the potatoes soak up the cream the more you mix it and as time goes on. So we're just gonna get a spoon to test it out. Mm. Good. You can get the hints of the nutmeg. Really shines through. It's perfectly salty. There's enough flavor, but if you were to eat it with like a steak or something, it wouldn't be like salty and salty. And there's some leftover cream, um, but it's fine. I mean, potatoes are such different sizes, so if you guys make this recipe, it might be perfect. Um, and if it's not enough, just add more cream and salt and stuff. <music> So I like spicy food and I love Zinju chili. So we have their suicide batch here. And so I added some of that to my mashed potatoes. Mmm. Mmm. It is good. I should have added more though, so that I can get more of like the crunch that they have in their chili. Mmm. -hmm. It's good. It's very creamy. When I watched Gordon Ramsay make this, he made it like very, very creamy where it's like soup. Yeah, if we added the rest of the cream, it'd probably be like soup. Real good. Mashed potatoes with zinger chili. Pretty good. It's actually pretty good. We have the OG one, and then we actually put like the, a lot of it in with the crispiness. The crispy, yeah. That'd be really good. It's good, guys.